So here we have a patient that's 53 year old male coming in with this EKG and uh, otherwise asymptomatic and this is showing dextrocardia which is a rare congenital anomaly in which the heart is actually on the right side of the chest instead of the left. If you look at this image down here, this is the heart here in the center, okay? And normally it is going on, on the left side, so this would be the left side of the chest and this is the right side of the chest, so it's a chest x-ray we're looking at here. But in this case, we have it over on the right, the heart here, okay? Normally, it would come over on this side. So this is a condition, dextrocardia, when the heart is on the right side of the chest, okay? We often diagnose it with imaging, some sort of imaging. In this case, it's a chest x-ray we have here. Now, it is also associated with sinus inversus, which has a number of host things. But we just want to focus on what are the EKG findings we see in dextrocardia, okay? So in this patient, what we're noticing that is that the rate is normal, okay, between 60 and 100. We have a normal PR interval, normal QRS duration, and the QT and QTC intervals are the same, okay, or normal. Notice here that the R axis or ventricular axis is 166. So if you draw out our axis chart here, this is zero. This would be plus or minus 180, okay? We're saying that this is actually plus 166 or positive 166, which means that the axis is somewhere over here. Remember, normal lies between this region here, negative 30, to about positive 110. So over in that region, okay, is a rightward shift and almost the opposite of what we would expect in a normal heart, right? Normal heart would be this way, and now we have it on the right side, so it's going the other way. So we would call this a right axis deviation or rightward shift, okay? And you can see this, what we see in dextrocardia is that the P wave, QRS complex, and T wave are inverted or upside down in leads one and AVL. Normally in those leads, okay, here's one and AVL here, we will see upright uh, P waves, QRS complexes, and T waves. So if you look at our EKG, here's lead one, and here's AVL. Notice that our P wave is negative, QRS complex is negative, and T wave, okay, there too. Here's a T P wave, QRS, and our T wave, okay. So negative in those leads. Uh, usually AVR, okay, we tend to have the opposite, where our P waves are negative, but here they're upright. Our QRS complex is also upright, okay. And so you're seeing almost the opposite changes. All right, so that kind of helps to point towards a sinus rhythm because you're seeing everything be the opposite. Now, you also have reverse R wave progression. Remember, normal R wave progression as you go from V1 to V5, you should have an increase in the R wave amplitude, okay, or you should have an increase in the R to S ratio, okay, meaning that um, as you go from right to left, the S waves here are deeper, but eventually uh, they should be smaller with the R waves. Now, in this case, you pretty much have poor R wave progression. That's something you notice all the way across, okay, and we see that here because remember the chest leads are going from the right side, V1, V2, and all the way to the left, but if there's no heart there, they're really going to just be getting the negative uh, impulses that are going away from it, okay? And that's why you're seeing all these negative uh, waves here that are present in complexes. So reverse R-wave progression is something we can see, or simply poor R-wave progression. And pretty much this is when the R-wave amplitude is greatest in V1, which we do. See, here's V1, and there's a small R-wave. And they're pretty much absent in these lateral leads, okay? Pretty much no R-waves there. So that would be poor R-wave progression or re reverse R-wave progression, okay? And so if you see that, what tells it apart from a... Uh, lead reversible, okay? So sometimes we get confused, what's the difference between lead reversal, okay, and dextrocardia? Well, we can see the similar appearance in the limb leads, okay? However, this reverse R wave progression that we just discussed is not something we see with limb lead reversal, okay? Because with there's limb lead reversal, it's only affecting these leads here and not touching our precordial leads on the right side. Okay, obviously if the precordial leads were messed up uh, as well, then uh, that's most likely maybe a new EKG tech just starting off that needs to go back and focus on lead position, but that's often not the case. We have great techs. So again, the main thing here, 
we said is normal sinus rhythm okay pretty much you're seeing the inversion of what's going on coming towards the right side all right normal pr interval no blot our rate is normal in this adult patient asymptomatic normal q restoration and the main thing i want you to see is this dextrocardia okay dextrocardia in which you're seeing p wave qrs complex and t waves inverted or upside down in those lateral limb leads and pretty much poor R wave progression uh, or reverse R wave progression in the precordial leads. Okay, so again, you're seeing it in both the limb leads that are messed up as well as the precordial leads. And that will help differentiate from simply limb lead reversal. Okay, if you see limb lead reversal over here, but then you see normal R wave progression in the precordial leads, that's probably a limb lead problem. Okay, but if you see both the findings in the limb and precordial having poor R wave progression or reverse R wave progression, make sure you're thinking about dextrocardia. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So dextrocardia, simply the right, the heart more on the right side of the chest and this is a congenital anomaly all right i hope that makes sense there now just to uh, recap you guys if you're looking on where you can find all these coding references and we'll add more examples here's the dextrocardia that we just discussed okay and those criteria there and there's also the sinus rhythm that we discussed and dextrocardia is pretty much the opposite but how do you get access to this that was the main thing i put this here for well this is our ekg coding reference that we're using and sharing with our colleagues that i want to offer you guys access as well so what you want to do is put this link in here's the three step process put that link into um google or into uh, uh the internet uh, source that you're using and then put your email so this is going to be your email that you'll place here and then i want to give you my password that you'll enter so you'll have to use my password to get free access and that's this one here okay so you're going to put that password into there make sure to use your email and use my password and then uh, what you're going to do is submit that and from there you're going to get an email to confirm your email okay once you confirm it you'll have a link that will take you to our coding reference and you'll have a number of different uh, things so all these are drop down menus that you can have different rhythms atrial av ventricular all the junctional ones any ischemia or myocardial infarction and this is really handy on the go if you're in the clinic and you just want to oh what was the criteria for brugada um, or what's the criteria for an inferior infarct that's more of an age indeterminate okay so those are things that we find it helpful for okay so again put this go to this link enter your email use my password go to your email click on that link and you'll have free access to this and then every time you want to access it all you do is go to that site here and then enter your email in the password you won't have to confirm your email again that's just the first time okay and there you can find examples that I continue to update and we'll add more videos uh, to that point there if you need reference as well as examples that to make sure you're seeing you're understanding what you're seeing. OK, so hopefully you find this useful. A lot of people have uh, and I just want to provide that access to you as well. All right. Have a great day.